What up, Matt here. It is cold outside today. We're in here doing a little painting at the spec house and I thought I would uh, get this little camera out and uh, shoot a little video and show y'all exactly what we're up to now. So let's go on in here. Woo, feels a lot warmer in here with that heater on. Oh yeah. Anyway, we're in here painting. Turn the heater off for a second. We're in here painting and uh, let me flip the camera around. I'll show you what we're doing here. All right, we sprayed all this trim in here. Got all these doors set up. Two coats of paint on them. Got them sprayed heavy. And all the overspray around these walls, I'm going around and cutting it all in. We've cut the whole house in. And I uh, got Tim over here. And he's rolling it in with just a little whiz roller. Um, all the overspray. So the next coat, we're going to come here and cut it in and uh, everything's gonna look all uh, all light French gray for us. All right, check this out. I wanted to show y'all this right here. I just got this in the mail yesterday and this is my brand new Chinese, uh, I don't even know what it is. Let's see here. It's called a, a smirus. I don't know, I can't say words without vowels in them. But anyway, it's a little zip up hoodie. And I got that sucker on eBay from China for $13. How about that? $13. That's less than the price of an iPhone. Also, today was a big day. We had old Dan Wilson over here. Got our electrical inspection passed. Now time for Cleveland Utilities to uh, swing over here and dig the power in and uh, we'll get the AC put in and get this place warmed up so we can get the hardwood down on the floor. But I want to share with you a few little video clips that um, we had from Jasper the other day on Monday. So here's a good time to flip to the montage. What up fam? Heading to lunch from the work spec house. Got Tim the tool man Frank over here. Show me that new lunch box, Tim. Right there she is. Yeah. Look, look, it is built. I know that's probably backwards, but built or clib. Maybe it's clib. So did y'all know that um, Facebook Live right now, we're just gonna let a few people join before we get going. But uh, anyway, I just wanna let y'all know that if you're looking at me in this camera, I've got it on the selfie mode, and actually, my right nostril is my left nostril. <laughs> Did you bring that uh, ink pen with you so I could write some checks, Tim? No, I didn't. All right. Just got back from getting some food, got to try out my brand new Chinese uh, jacket, whatever the name was on it. I wasn't sure. I was trying to get me a uh, Zaxby salad because I love their salads. I've been trying not to eat any fast food lately and Zaxby's line was about six cars deep. So I spun over to KFC and got me some Nashville hot chicken. Not sure if that's gonna burn my mouth or uh, leave a sweet taste on the back of my palate. We're gonna run back up in this spec house. Tim's done cutting everything in. I picked up a few supplies and we got to strain the paint into some new buckets. Got a little trash in it, but we're gonna sand this coat and everything and we're gonna get this baby all slicked up for you. Mmm. Woo! So that's how hot Nashville is. I had no idea. And anyways, back to my new zip up from China. I was talking about it out there, but I completely lost my train of thought. But it's a little bit frigid outside. Jacket's a little bit thinner. For $13 though, this makes a good like, you know, summer night cold jacket. But Nashville is definitely hot. I had no idea. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you how to strain this uh, paint real quick. I'm just using one of these uh, five gallon paint strainers I pick up over at the um, box store. Screenshot that if you want to. And I've already got it in the bucket right here. It just goes nicely over the bucket. We've already got this bucket strained, but anyways, that's how it goes right there. And we're just gonna dump this nasty paint in there. 
Just gonna dump her down in there. I'm gonna use this old uh, handy piece of door casing right here and I'm gonna stick it right inside this bucket and use it just to break it clean. Oh man, there's a lot of nasty boogers and actually uh, I left the lid off the paint last night. So it got dry on the edges and being that it's a, a flat sheen paint, it went down in there. All right, I'm gonna uh, throw on a natural glove here so that I don't get paint on my hands, just a little easier cleanup process. And I'm gonna unstrap that from the five gallon bucket, pick her up here and just let it, just let it ooze through. Look at this, look at this right here. Look at this, adjust it down. Watch the satisfaction of this right here. Look at that. Would you look at it? Just oozing out. And that down there in the bottom, folks, is the business that we don't want to be putting on the walls. All right, I got my brush all uh, freshly washed out. I love these little zebra, zebra. I'm not sure how you say that. Anyways, I love these brushes, but I found out that it's made of nylon and I washed it out and was trying to dry it off down here near this master's uh, forced air heater and curled up the ends a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but we'll run back here in this uh, bedroom. It's a little darker back here, hard to see, but we've got this thing all cut in and around the trim everywhere. Got a little spot of putty there. We won't paint that wall, but I'm gonna run around through here and cut in the final cut in and back roll of that with a little four inch roller while Tim, the tool man Frank, is running the big roller up and down these walls. So we're just gonna kinda uh, double team this room right here and knock it out one wall at a time. Then we'll move in here to this other bedroom. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what it's gonna look like, all right? All right, we're just getting the uh, painting done back in this bedroom and uh, we already did the laundry room and stuff. So let me flip it around here and I'll show you what this finished product looks like. All right, here it is guys. Here it is, still drying here. A little, little streaky looking on the walls. That's the uh, where the wet and the dry paint's drying. And um, notice we have some tape around the bottoms. That's not like for cutting in. I just put that on top of the baseboards and uh, anything the roller throws off, that way it doesn't get on these uh, freshly sprayed uh, baseboards. And we are right now starting the future world's largest tape ball. And right here, um, Tim has been getting the core of this going. And, and this is all gonna be used tape in like painting projects. We'll take this to Eagle Creek next and uh, whatever job after that. But we're gonna see how big we can get this tape roll right here. And um, we'll keep you updated on that. Uh, drop some comments below. Uh, to tell me what you think or maybe put a link to a video of your tape ball or rubber band ball or maybe something you've made similar. All right, guys, I had one last stop to make for the day. Got to run over here to my secret cricket supplier here in uh, Cleveland. Got to get two boxes of crickets today, a thousand in each box, one box three eighths of an inch, one box three quarters of an inch since I got these new dragons and they're a lot smaller than uh, the other dragons. So we got to feed them a little bit smaller crickets. So let me run in here real quick and I'll be right back. All right, we got the goods. We got some three eighths inch crickets right there. We got a thousand three quarter cricket right there. So I should be good for two or three weeks. Uh, and that concludes our day today. Come join us by hitting that subscribe button over there. Click the bell so that you'll know, get notifications whenever I post videos. I try to post at least one or two videos a week with uh, more coming, trying to be on a better schedule. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Just opened my thousand box of three eighths crickets and put them in this container about mm, an hour ago. I cleaned this container out with a uh, aquarium safe um, 
solution. Let me see if I can find it right here. Yeah, I just cleaned it out with this. Uh, Pro Glow Acrylic and Glass Polisher. Must have been the fumes, but check out these crickets now. Every single one of them, a thousand crickets, has fallen to their death. R.I.P. crickets.